Yo, Tanya, knock, knock. Who's there? Pop and Crunch. Pop and Crunch who? Pop and Crunch, a.k.a. Brunch, the most poppin' and revolutionary internet idea since email. Wow, that's impressive. But I don't have the time for jokes, Edgar. I have four finals I have to study for next week. How long do you think it will take you to study for all those finals? At least a couple days. Why? What if I told you there is a way to consolidate all of your school subjects that your finals are on together to keep your study time short? Um, yeah, that would be huge. Too bad there's nothing like that on our web. Actually, there is. Tell me, where can I find it? I just told you a few seconds ago. Prunch? Oh, I was wondering why you told such a lame joke. Tell me more about this so-called Prunch website. Well, it's a cool design, envisioned by John, the man who created the name and idea while eating a bowl of cereal. Oh, wow. That's where the name Prunch comes from. Yeah. Besides the history of the name, Prunch has a load of other cool features. Here, take a look at this cool homepage design. Wow, I really like this format. It's really easy to navigate around. The background is pretty cool too. You don't see those colors on any plain old website nowadays. How, how have I heard, never heard of this before? Prunch does have a cool layout. The only reason I discovered it was because I had a hard homework problem that I couldn't figure out. And Prunch was the only website that led me to find the right calculator for solving the problem. Ever since then, I've been hooked. Very cool. I have finals in college algebra, college uh, trigonometry, calculus one, and intro to computer science. How is Prunch going to help me study for them? Well, the way Prunch works is it consolidates calculators from four subjects. Algebra, Algebra 2 Trig, Calculus, and STEM. And gives the user of the site links to the calculators that the developers handpicked themselves. Lucky for you, all four of the subjects your finals are in have calculators that Prunch has conveniently grouped together. So you don't have to spend hours searching how to solve specific problems. Here, look at this. Prunch even has a feature called Calculator of the Month, where if you want to discover calculators on its website that you didn't know were there, or just want to expand your knowledge, you can see what Prunch picked for its Calculator of the Month. That's awesome. Let's explore the website a little. Go back to the home page. I have a problem with my college algebra final where I have to solve both sides of the equation. Can Prunch help me do that? Let's take a look and see. So that would be under Algebra, right? That's right. Oh, there it is. Click on the Equation Solver subcategory. Pick which calculator you would like to use. Prunch gives you two options for this subcategory. Let's go to Math Papa Calculator. Here's the calculator page. What separates Prunch from the competitors is that users can leave comments or find attributes for each calculator. There is also a picture that gives you an idea of what the website looks like before you click on the link to go to it. I like the design so far from the picture. Click on that link of the, to the calculator website. Here it is. This is going to be very helpful for me. I'm going to bookmark this page and come back to it. If you like it so much, you should leave a comment to let other users know how great this calculator is. Okay, let me see. Nice. Judging by the comments, hardly anyone has discovered this great calculator. I know. Prunch is a great resource, but needs more marketing. What's your next final you need help on? Hold on. Go back to the equation solver subcategory. I want to check something out. Uh, I think it's going to be under the matrices section. Click on the subheading up top to see. I've been trying to learn how to calculate the determinant of a matrix on my own free time. I wonder if this calculator will help me do that. Let's take a look. Hmm. Seems like this calculator is more geared toward high school students. I was looking for something with more advanced features. That's the beauty of Prunch. It's geared not only towards college students, but high school students as well. You should leave a review asking for the developers to add a calculator like this in the future, since you can't find it right now. I did that once when I couldn't find a calculator to help me solve a certain calculus problem, and they are quick to respond. They seem like cool people. Uh, this is great. I'm glad Prunch values the user's feedback so much. 
Here, fill out a form. Let's see. Thank you for comment line and writes up. Oh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. Here's your comment. The developers will probably see it and address the issue in the next couple of days. Nice. Okay, I have a problem that I can't solve in my intro to computer science class. It involves adding two binary numbers together. I have no idea how to do it. Our teachers didn't explain it very well. Let's see if there is a computer science subcategory under the STEM category. There is. Hopefully they will have a calculator that adds binary numbers together. This might be what we are looking for. The picture makes it seem like this is the right calculator for you. Wow, this looks like exactly what I need. This calculator also teaches you how to actually add binary numbers together. So you learn how to do it instead of just entering the numbers in, getting the answer, and leaving. This is going to be really helpful for me. Crunch is awesome. Yeah, this calculator is so cool. Crunch was right, giving it four out of five stars. I'm going to leave a review for it. I need help in one more class that Crunch can help me with this problem. I'll be a fan for life. What problem is it? Okay, this is from my hardest class. It's a calculus problem that wants me to take the integral of some big long function. Sounds tough. Let's go to the calculus page. Okay, it'll probably be under integrals, don't you think? Seems like a shot in the dark, but let's try it. Okay, the calculator called integral calculator seems like it could really help me. Here we go. Is this what you're looking for? Yep, I think this will work. Do you need any more help? Well, I'm doing pretty well in Algebra 2 tree class, but let's check out the calculators offered in case I need help in the future. Okay. Oh. Inverses, standard deviations, uh, spherical, spherical trigonometry, all good subjects. Are there any are there even any calculators in the spherical trigonometry section? Of course. Look. And here's a calculator for it as well. This will definitely help me next semester. Thanks for showing me Prunch, Edgar. This website is going to save my grades in school.